What's up, LFR family? So check this out. Um, and and thanks to all of you for helping us reach 400k, man. Y'all are amazing. So a lot of you have been asking me to check out Matt Walsh's um video um documentary movie called What Is a Woman. So we're about to check that out together. Right now I'm doing it live with a few of my friends. Being a dad is one of the great privileges of my life. I've heard people say that there are no differences between male and female. Those people are idiots. But yeah, they are. I like to make sense of things. Now our culture is telling us Whoa. that the differences between girls and boys don't matter. That if you identify as something, then you are that thing. How do we help our kids make sense of this when they're bombarded with conflicting messages about gender and identity? The real question is, what is a woman? Being a woman is one of the things I like the best about myself. I think you'll like it too. If I was a woman, I would like it. And I'm not going to get into it because I uh, got my baby girl behind me about to work out and everything. So I'm not going to say anything lewd. But uh, <laughs> if, if you know any man and he think of having been a woman 100% of the time, most times he will say that he will like it because men are weird. Men are ridiculous. I like to come out here to think. Nature seems to always tell the truth, even when we don't want to hear it. But what is truth? Is there a truth? Is this what progress looks like? Nowadays, there, <clears throat> there is no real truth. Everyone has their own truth. That's why they call it my truth. They call it my truth now. So if they have something to say that's worthwhile in their opinions, they call it my truth. My boys really become girls? Do I have four daughters? <laughs> Do I now have to pay for four weddings? I better see a therapist. Individuals are products of and in dialogue with our surroundings, including our families, broader culture, workplaces, nature. What uh, does that mean? From the minute I was assigned female, I was told, okay, these are the kind of clothing that you're going to wear. These are the... Um, now, yeah, she's, 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 she's right in a sense. That's what we're taught as soon as we're, um, uh, while we're growing up, people are trying to prepare us on um, how a young man is to um, act, how a young woman is to act, but they they teach us those things based off of what we have and what we've been told that we are. So it's just to prepare us. It's not to make us feel any type of way. Some women have penises, right? Some men have vaginas. Um... Which is not, oh, I want to cuss. That's not effing true. Why would she say that? And she's an expert. She's a specialist. So why would she say that? Um, she shouldn't say that. That That's just, that's ridiculous. Where did we learn that from? I learned that um, from hearing from transgender people I mean, just right. because i happen to have a penis right that doesn't mean that this is like who i am well that that could that could very well be the same as going your entire life thinking that a cookie is a cookie you're dipping the cookie in milk you're thinking it's a cookie and then you have a, a conversation with nabisco and they tell you that that cookie is a pancake so from that point on instead of dipping it into milk you're pouring syrup on it because you're saying okay just to please everyone that's what it is if you say that's what it is if you're nabisco i mean you won't get it wrong so um that's wow what is a woman mm. no no answer that great question i'm not a woman so i <laughs> i can't really answer that we're talking about gender in society let me start with a real basic question what is a woman? A woman no. is someone that likes to be pretty and think of themselves as a delicate creature. <laughs> well, I could be a woman too. Yes, you could. Identify as a woman, but what is that? What is that? I honestly don't know. Over 2,000 surgeries and counting, Dr. Marcy Bowers is the nation's preeminent sex change surgeon. Surely someone who does sex change surgeries can answer what a woman is. You're also a transgender woman. Can you tell me a little bit about... Well, I mean, I, I identify as a woman. How often do people regret their surgeries? And there are people who truly feel that in their journey, they may have made a mistake. This is a really, really uncommon phenomenon. For example, a man who has two arms but feels like he should have one. That doesn't have anything to do with gender identity. Sounds, that's someone who has, has a mental diagnosis, a psychiatric condition. The reason why he asked that is because he's playing chess. I hope she understands that. What she just not admitted to. I don't know if she really understands what she just admitted to. But what is a woman? Woman is a, you know, it's a combination of your physical attributes and then what you're showing to the world and the gender clues that you give. And hopefully those match your gender identity. This is not a woman. How do I know? Common sense. Doesn't, doesn't the science say that 
if someone identifies as a woman, then they are. No, no. Now that's completely bogus. If it makes someone feel better, what about their, their feelings? I, mean, I don't give a <laughs> about their feelings. I'm old. How do you know that you're a man? How do I know that I'm a man? I guess because I got a <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say the way that they shot this is, is very well done. It's really, really, really well done. I like this so far. Yeah. I'm looking at it as um, from the eyes of a creative. I might not be that, but I do have certain thoughts on what something should look like when it's in a movie, documentary, or something like that. And this right here, it's pretty, it's pretty well put together. Residency, University of Utah Pediatrics. At what age can a child first begin to transition into another gender or identify themselves as a gender different from how they were born? Some children figure out their gender really early. When the, when the doctor sees the penis and says, this is a male. Telling that family based on that little penis that your child is absolutely 100% male identified no matter what else occurs in their life, that's not correct. Santa Claus is real for them, but yeah. Santa Claus is not actually real. Yeah, well, and, but Santa Claus does deliver their Christmas presents. Well, yeah, but he's not real, though. To that child, they are. To someone who can't distinguish between fantasy and reality, so how could you take that? There you go, that's a good question. As a reality. I would say how wonderful my four-year-old and their imagination is. If I said, I want you to say that it's true that I'm a woman, would you say that? Okay, you're a woman. I would also say that. If you want, I, yeah. I, I honestly don't care. Like, whatever makes you happy. What's true to you can be can be false to me. I see. That's 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 it right there. I don't really care. I mean, whatever makes you happy. Yeah, run with it. That's the issue right there. So they're having two different conversations. Something that kind of infuses itself into virtually all aspects of social life. Sexuality studies. <sighs> Could someone please tell me the very first professor who became a sexuality studies professor? Please. Uh, gender and sex. What's the difference between the two? Is there a difference? He's sort of messy and complicated. But in that framing, when you split them up into these <laughs> wholly discrete constructs, studies um, <laughs> cultural ideas about masculinity, uh, femininity, maleness, and femaleness. So are gender and sex two different things, or? Well, I think that they, they both are and they aren't. Why are you asking the question? I think I, I, I want to understand sort of why that's so important. I mean, I'm really uncomfortable with that language of like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I told you, I just want to get to the truth. And you tell me as the professor, oh, I'm really uncomfortable with that language. You're talking about the truth. What about my truth, his truth, her truth, the truth? Now you're just being disrespectful. <laughs> I'm about to call security. Right? Why is that uncomfortable? Because that, it sounds actually deeply transphobic to me. I, if I, I probe about what the truth is? You keep invoking the word truth. All right, but we're in a university. This is a place of understanding truth, isn't it? Or Absolutely. You just said the truth is transphobic. Th that you would say, <laughs> if, you're, if you're saying the truth, is you're not a man, show me your genitalia, that's transphobic. No, no, I don't <laughs> want to see anybody's genitalia. I, I, I just, if I were to say that I'm a black man, could you, <laughs> would you accept that or would you s be skeptical? Are you black? <laughs> are you African-American? Are you biracial? Oh, How many times are they going to volley? Like, yeah, they doing a good job. Wow. Yeah. Y'all play, y'all play uh table, table, uh, table tennis or what is it called? Um, ping pong. That's their door. <laughs> Only thing he's asking, okay, so, um, what's a woman? Um, and he, he will not answer him, bro. It's, 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 it's wild. I'm trying to figure out why he won't answer him directly. I already know why he won't answer him directly, because if he did, then his job will be pointless in his mind, because his job is to talk about the social, um, situation, social norms and whatever somebody else wants to consider themselves, um, not necessarily reality. So when he keep on bringing that up. He's feeling so flustered and disrespected. This dude has no joy in his heart whatsoever. When he was just sitting there talking about what he do and explaining his um his his job, this dude was full of life. But now, whew, my gracious, okay. What is transgenderism from a psychiatric Hopefully we get a standpoint? Answer. Gender dysphoria, discomfort with one's biological sex. Sex 
is oh, getting good. biology, unchanging. Gender, on the other hand, is a perception. It's a feeling. Is that if a man is male but thinks of himself as a woman, he's not actually a woman? That's correct. Female, the chickens, when they lay eggs? That's a, we that's... assume they're female if they lay eggs. Now, I was told that if you don't agree, that you're a dinosaur and a bigot. I'm not bigoted and I'm not a dinosaur. There's one reality. And once the gun went off, the two transgender athletes took off flying and left <laughs> all of us girls in the dust. <laughs> they won. beat me out by 20 meters. And if they wow. were not there, I would have been able to qualify. So I missed out on so much throughout my high school career. And going into races knowing that we will never be able to win. It feels like all that work gone to waste. It does. Could you imagine their experiences? I mean, because you're in high school and you are an elite athlete, you do work very hard. You get to school far earlier than everyone else. You're staying far later than everyone else. You're always working out on your craft. And then when the, when it comes to, to the days of your meets, your track meets, you're not going to get any glory out of this um, because the person that's, that you're running against is naturally built in a way that you cannot beat them unfortunately and now this is what they have to deal with that is it's it's it sucks i think you'd be very hard pressed to prove that do they never watch any of these events you'll be hard pressed to, to to be able to prove that i'm looking at it right now i see proof right now what are they talking about what am i seriously this is great for the last half of the pool nobody will touch leah thomas transgender swimmer leah thomas breaking barriers and records you were transphobic. If you even bring up the fact that Leah swimming might not be fair. Locker room situation. What do y'all know about that? Please let me know in the comments, all right? A locker room situation you couldn't say anything about or you were considered to be transphobic. Did did Leah Thompson already have the, the surgery or was Leah Thompson walking around the locker room willy-nilly? Wow, I hope that's not the case. Oh, man. Oh, man. How did you decide that you can't have your face out there saying these things? If you speak up about it and you say anything negative, that, like, your life will be over. You'll never be able to get a job. Wow. So you mean to tell me that if YouTube don't work for me and I agree with anything that goes against the LGBTQ, that I can't get a job? My face will be plastered all over the Internet as a transphobe? Please, I hope not. I love everybody equally. It's okay for a man to go into the women's section, show his penis around the other women, young little girl. We spa condone that. Is that what you're saying? He can stay there? Sexual orientation. Bus sexual orientation. I see a People have kind of really bought into the, to the rumor that um, only men have penises. What? <laughs> man Walsh is a jerk sometimes. <laughs> There's some people who buy into the rumor that only men have penises. <laughs> Don't know what's up with them. <laughs> I have two daughters. And if they were to tell me that they used the bathroom somewhere and a man was in there, you know, with his, you know what I mean? And I will feel some type of way about that. Um, I would. I, 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 I naturally would. I mean, for, for the sake of my daughters. So... That's why he's ask, asking this question. He's trying. He's not trying to, you know, start anything. He's just really trying to get, get to the bottom of it. And why can't people just answer questions, man? I don't. I don't get that. You know what? I think this interview yeah. is over. Yeah. We, we want to know what what is a woman. Please let's turn off the cameras. Excuse we, me. I, so we're... This this dude didn't didn't try on anything. Like seriously, he can't even ask fair the question. Let's know what is a woman. And you're not gonna find out. <laughs> people actually voted that man into office. Oh, that woman or that trans, I don't, I, apparently they said they're part of the, the community. So they, they're they one or they're both. I don't know. The person, they voted that person into office and they couldn't, they, they got that riled up by one question. Nah. Well, why are you asking a gay man as to what it means to be a woman? You should be asking women what it means to be a woman, especially trans women. You're saying if you're not a woman, then you shouldn't have an opinion. Where does a guy get a right to say what a woman is? Are you a uh, cat? <laughs> no. Can you tell me what a cat is? <laughs> this is actually a genuine mistake. I am sorry I even came up here. So they can, so men can get pregnant. 
Yes, if we're saying it. Yes. If they have the parts to do so. <laughs> Anyone tell me what a woman is? If you are not here for women, we ask you to leave. Uh, okay, uh, women. I'm asking women that are watching this right now. Are you offended by the question, what is a woman? Um, and conservative women, um, is it only liberal women who believe this or liberal men who believe this or transgender community on the liberal side that may, um, that that don't know or don't want to say what a woman is? Or is it every transgender? I, see, this is... Wow. Do you guys know what a woman is by any chance? No idea. <laughs> of miles from, from America. So thank you for inviting us into your tribe first. What does a man do? What, what are his roles? You need to work for your woman, to have children. If you have children and you don't have something to feed them, you are not still a man. What if a man decides that he wants to do the roles of a woman? In Maasai community, it will not exist at all. What if a man decides that his, his gender identity is, is woman? And a lady cannot do the duty of a man, and a man cannot do a duty of a woman. Can a man become a woman? No. no. For a man, he has a penis. For a woman, he has a vagina. So a man, he has a penis. A woman, she has a vagina. Vagina. A penis and a vagina. What if it's a woman with a penis? <laughs> what? <Is> that... <laughs> they have never heard something like that. What I'm saying, would you ever want to move to America? <laughs> <laughs> so like, they nah. say, no. What, what is a woman if you had to give it a definition? Look at all them beautiful jewels, man. That's so, that's so lovely. That's what's up. That's what's up right there, man. It's clear that gender ideology is a uniquely Western phenomenon. So where did all this come from? Matt, I, I, want, I want to show this to you. You're a parent, right? It's perfectly normal for 10 years and up. What the? F Yo, the 10 year old book. And I'm not even talking about that part. Yeah, there's a picture of two men in a bed with one another. Or is that two women in the bed with one another? I don't know what it is. But the writing says, after a bit, the female's vagina becomes moist and slippery. Her clitoris becomes hard and the male's penis becomes erect, stiff and larger. Sometimes a bit of clear fluid that may contain a few... Sp what in the world? This is, a, this is a kid's book. Okay. Don't parents do their job nowadays? Don't parents know how to parent? It's unspeakable what these people have done to our children. When did that start? So I'll answer that with one word, Kinsey. What came out is that his research was fraudulent. This person, is he in jail? Is, is he still living? Instead of suffering the consequences for his heinous actions, he was and still is celebrated by academia and Hollywood. Liam Neeson's? Liam Neeson's played him? Nah, man, you don't get Liam Neeson's to play him. Money was telling the world about his theory. A boy could be raised as a girl and do just fine, and vice versa. When the twins were eight months old, first twin, whose name was Bruce, um, something went wrong with the machinery. Something went wrong with the machinery. They knew what they was doing. They knew exactly what they was doing. The results were a disaster. Bruce could never fully accept his female identity. Julia's parents told him the truth, and he chose to transition back to a boy taking the name David. The girls would do their things with their Barbies and things like that, and that wouldn't interest me. David died, committed suicide. There are forces that don't want this information out. It's effed up. It's extremely effed up. And you don't have to be anybody on the left or the right in order to see how effed up that is. We're talking about children here. We're talking about children, those the most innocent of us all. We're supposed to protect them. That's our jobs. Our jobs are to protect them and guide them until they can guide us. Because that's how that, this is wash, rinse, and repeat. We protect them, guide them, and then we get old as hell. They guide us and protect us. They build a new nation. They do the same thing for children. They protect and guide them. They get old, and the children that they raised 
protect and guide them. That's how that works. This is ridiculous. What, what, what you think they're going to do to us if we continue to dag on abuse them like this? Psychologists or somebody that I was in love with or whatever said that I was in the wrong body, I started to think, well, maybe I am. I'm a biological woman that medically transitioned to appear like a male through synthetic hormones and surgery. I will never be a man. Is it transphobic for me to tell the truth? Study tells us seven to 10 years is when transgender people are the most suicidal. 67% complication rate. That will kill me. I can't sue on. We're butchering a generation of children because nobody's willing to talk about it's wrong. How can they be removing the healthy breasts of 15-year-old girls? Chemical castration drugs to kids is malignant and harmful. It's about wow. the context of- For all parents who are that progressive and, um, and 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 that welcoming to um, new procedures so that their children could feel like the them their best selves, you know. Um, kudos to you for being for for wanting to do what you're. I mean, to do the the right thing for your children. But I would say this: do as much research as you possibly can. Don't just put them babies in no situation that they'll have to face for the rest of their lives. Blindly. Don't please don't blindly do this and 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 think back to when you were their age and how your mind worked. And then ask yourself if they are in a position to make this type of decision themselves. Because sometimes we don't reflect. We gotta get out of la la land and actually just compare, look at your children and compare them to who they are. They are a little version of you. And think back to when you were that age and, and how you used to think and how you used to feel. And then think about your growth since that period. And then consider whether or not they are making the correct decision for themselves. spoke out it says when he spoke out about his 13 year old being about to receive some um receive whatever procedure he spoke out about it and he was arrested and given a thirty thousand dollar fine for misgendering his 13 year old daughter <laughs> wow you called your daughter she and you you went to jail for that that's considered criminal violence that's what Jordan Peterson was talking about. The fact that they made it law, he does not like that. He does he don't that dude don't like Trudeau at all, but he don't like that at all. And I understand why. why? There's no such thing There's as a, a gender guy. affirming therapist. That's a contradiction in terms. You don't get a casual pat on the back from a therapist for your pre-existing axiomatic conclusions. That's not therapy. I don't think they're explaining that to the kids. So that has frightened me. So this generation, they're the, they're the lab rats. People who talk about the diversity in gender are actually talking about diversity in personality and temperament, but they don't know it. You can have a masculine temperament if you're a woman, and you can have feminine men temperamentally, and it's not that uncommon. I like that he said that. What are we going to do about that? Carve them up? Or we just allow, I don't know, man. What, what would y'all do? Because this thing is exhausting. It's exhausting, man. When you have children, you think about it differently. You you really do. Because you think about your, not only are you thinking about your children, but potential grandchildren. You don't know. Your potential grandchildren. Are we trying to end mankind? Is that a dumb question? It might be. Won't be the first time, nor the last time I asked a dumb question. That hey sucks. man, you're sick with whatever you want to be. See you later. You want a prescription for something? <laughs> experts who tow the party line and say the things that activists like those are the people who get attention those are the people who get lifted up in the media because that helps their career now we are seeing kids that are identifying as animals ring instead of answering questions and they meow and the teachers are not allowed to question it because it's considered a queer identity cat. A cat. come on man what the hell is going on with this damn world we so we're becoming some sucker ass adults that's what we're becoming that's what we're becoming, some sucker-ass adults. That's what we're becoming.
walking around on eggshells because we don't want to disrespect somebody's gender. Fear of losing our jobs. Fear of being, I don't know, um, um, people criticizing us online, being bullied. We, man, whew, we become some suckers, man. I am a wolf theory and, and a member of the furry fandom. It was watched. I blame Comic-Con. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> but still, come on, man. I don't blame Comic-Con, but this is, come on, man. Come on, a trans wolf. Are you able to give us an example of this wolf communication? Um, no. I'm not comfortable doing so. Okay, all right. I will be a woman. Why can't she just be a lesbian? Because she's not a lesbian, Mom. She's a boy. Ah, the gender fluid teacher. What do I go by in the classroom? I go by Teacher Fambrini. As a... I'm not going to comment on that. This is something else. Worry that there, there could be a sort of social contagion element of this? A teeny tiny bit, maybe. This lady, she said, was she the same one that's talking about some daggone dinosaurs? She's not paying attention to social media at all, is she? <laughs> because, yeah, she's not paying attention at all. And I know I pissed some people off by saying it's a fad, but come on, y'all, come on. The numbers are just going crazy right now. Upward trajectory like crazy. It's, it's, it's come on, come on. They don't know where they belong. They, they are kids that don't know where they belong. They don't feel welcome. That sounds like a kid to me. That sounds like something that all of us went through when we were kids. If I'm, if I'm lying, I'm flying. At some point, we all felt that way. That we need to be medicated for it. Not at all. Different. They're not sure who they are. We're Gee, all different. That's what your child doesn't have a chance. Um, that's all right. This is only going in one direction. You will respect us. They're tweaking the system. Keep invoking the word truth. Just condescending and rude. Some women have penises, right? Some men have vaginas. Am I the crazy one? I'm done asking questions. Andrew Cross is on administrative leave for what he said about gender identity. He said he would not call a student who's transgender by their preferred pronoun. I just can't, I can't do that to kids. It's causing me, I'm gonna have to lie to my kids, the ones I've always wanted to protect. Cases of sexual assault. This comes after a 15-year-old was charged on two separate occasions for assaulting two different students. What was that reporter's name that was just now talking? I've seen him before, he, he, he's pretty funny. He's pretty funny. Um, please let me know his name so I can check him out some more on YouTube. Who test the school's guy. policies? So that I decided last week to fulfill my lifelong dream of being a, um, a Loudoun County resident. I would thank you all for allowing me to speak to you tonight, but you tried not to allow it, yet here I am. You are all child abusers. You prey upon impressionable children and indoctrinate them into your insane ideological cult, a cult which holds many fanatical views, but none so deranged as the idea that boys are girls and girls are boys. You deprive these kids of safety and privacy and something more fundamental too, which is truth. You are poison. Wow. You are predators. <laughs> wow. I can see why you try to stop us from speaking. You know that your ideas are indefensible. I drop. You can only hide under your beds like pathetic little gutless cowards hoping we shut up and go away, but we won't. I promise you that. Wow. That was a, that was a, that was a, um, oof, that was a powerful 60 seconds, bro. <laughs> Sheesh, I want to start off by saying you all are child abuse. <laughs> Sheesh. Wow, I want to hear what y'all got to say about that. About 60 seconds. Matt Walsh is out with a new children's book. The book is called Johnny the Walrus. What is this about? The book is about uh, a little boy who's very imaginative and, and playful. And like, I have four kids and they all have an imagination. Yeah. And so she tries to raise her child as a walrus, as a sort of trans walrus. Dr. To have these conversations, Phil. people open their minds and relearn and unlearn to what we've been taught. So I want this to be- I don't know if you guys seen my reaction to that conversation right there, that viral debate that he had on Dr. Phil. If you haven't, I want you guys to go look at that right now. Um, that was extremely eye-opening for me. And, but even still, I'm not anywhere near well-versed enough to have much of a conversation about this. Um, but my opinion is, uh, it's confusing the hell out of adults and, and we need to stop it some type of way. But you can't expect me to take part in that self-perception or to take part in this kind of charade, this theatrical production. Well, Can you tell me what a woman is? 
is something that is an umbrella term. It includes people that who- That describes what? People who identify as a woman. What is that? Was to each their own. You want to do is that's a, what, what you what you day. want to do is appropriate women. You want to appropriate womanhood. Just ordinary people that might not be comfortable with the language change. She ordinary. began by saying that my view is extreme. Okay, so the view that every single person on earth yeah. has held up until 15 seconds ago is extreme. Part of me wants to ask why you care so much uh, because right. it's really right. not that big of a deal. Uh, and they clap because that was a, a great zinger for the for the um, for the people who support them who are inside of this, um, the audience, but they, they're they equally co confused, but they're in the, um, the whole, we accept everything the way you say it is, whatever you say it is, that's what it is. But the reason why he should care, he should care is because there's a whole bunch of um, bad sugar, honey, iced tea that's being done to children all over the world because of this. And uh, we are allowing it to happen. Not only are we allowing it to happen, but we're in, encouraging it to happen. Um, I, I care about the truth. So so basic truth matters. I want to live in a society where people okay, care about fine. the truth. Um, I care about children. And this these insane ideas about too. gender are being are being foist on kids. Um, and that that bothers me quite a bit. I care about the women who are having their opportunities stolen from them. I care quite a bit. I bet Dr. Phil did not give an opinion, did he? He didn't give an opinion. Oh my God, they was emotionally damaged. Oh my gosh. Sucker ass adults, man. What do you say to parents? A parent comes to you and says, my eight year old son is telling me he's a girl. You don't have the right to medically transition your child. First thing is to tell parents that they're not alone. It is our responsibility as a parent to be the frontline defense for our children. He's awaiting his trial in November of 2022. Does this really matter? Daughter is another she. question. I'm not doing that. I don't care what your reason is. You don't get control of my tongue. I would not be surprised in a few years, there will no longer be women's sports. Can you define the word woman without using the word woman? And it's actually kind of like, it's a curious question. I think across the country asking people this question and almost nobody can answer it. Uh, what is a woman? What is a woman? Marry one and find out. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I should go home and ask my wife, I guess. Yeah. I've been uh, meaning to ask you this. something. Uh-huh. What is a woman? An adult human female. An adult human female. That's what a daggone woman is. Great job, young lady. Whatever your name is, Miss Miss Walsh, Mrs. Walsh. Great, excellent job. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. I really enjoyed that, man. Um, but hey, it's y'all turn now. I want to hear what y'all have to say about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Ben, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Um, and our next movie will be something that you guys vote for, okay? All right, love y'all. Bye.